Hey there, welcome to the channel. Today we're simplifying the human endocrine system in just a few minutes. Whether you're a beginner or looking to deepen your understanding, stick around. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. The human endocrine system plays a crucial role in this process. This complex network of glands and hormones regulates everything from growth and development to mood and metabolism. It's like a symphony conductor coordinating various sections of the orchestra to create a harmonious performance. Now let's talk about glands. They come in two types, endocrine and exocrine. Endocrine glands secrete hormones directly into the bloodstream, while exocrine glands release their secretions externally or into ducts. Think of endocrine glands as invisible postmen delivering important messages around the body via hormones. These hormones, the chemical messengers of our body, are produced and released by various glands, each with their own unique role and function. They ensure that our body functions like a well-oiled machine, responding and adapting to the ever-changing environment around us. Now that we have a basic understanding of what the endocrine system is, let's dive deeper into each gland and its functions. Starting from our brain, we find the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. Nestled deep within the brain, the hypothalamus is a small region that serves as a critical control center. This tiny structure is responsible for maintaining the body's internal balance or homeostasis. One of the ways it does this is by producing a hormone known as antidiuretic hormone or ADH for short. ADH has the important job of regulating the amount of water in your body. When you're dehydrated, for instance, the hypothalamus cranks up ADH production, instructing your kidneys to conserve water. Just below the hypothalamus, we find the pituitary gland. About the size of a pea, this gland is often referred to as the body's master gland because it controls the activities of many other hormone-secreting glands. The pituitary gland secretes several hormones, each with its unique function. First up, we have growth hormone, or GH, which does exactly what you'd guess. It helps regulate body growth and development, but it doesn't stop there. GH also plays a role in body composition, body fluids, muscle and bone growth, and even sugar and fat metabolism. Next, there's thyroid stimulating hormone, or TSH, which signals the thyroid gland to produce and release thyroid hormones, crucial regulators of our body's metabolism. Follicle stimulating hormone, or FSH, and luteinizing hormone, or LH, are also released by the pituitary gland. These hormones are essential for the proper functioning of the ovaries in women and the testes in men, playing crucial roles in reproduction. Finally, we have prolactin, which primarily helps women produce milk after childbirth. But that's not all. Research suggests that prolactin may also play a role in the immune system. So, as you can see, these two small structures in our brain, the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland, have a massive impact on our bodies. They help regulate everything from growth and development to reproduction and even how we respond to stress. The hypothalamus and pituitary gland, although small, play a huge role in our endocrine system. Moving down our body, we come across the thyroid gland and the islets of Langerhans in the pancreas. Nestled in the lower front of our neck, the butterfly-shaped thyroid gland is hard at work. This little gland is responsible for producing a hormone known as thyroxin. Now, thyroxin is a bit of a multitasker. It plays a pivotal role in our body's metabolism, heart and digestive function, muscle control, brain development, and even our bone maintenance. It's like the orchestra conductor of our body, ensuring everything runs in rhythm and harmony. But what happens when the thyroid gland doesn't produce the right amount of thyroxin? Well, too little thyroxin can lead to conditions like hypothyroidism, causing fatigue and weight gain. On the other hand, too much thyroxin can result in hyperthyroidism, leading to rapid heartbeat and weight loss, so the balance is crucial when it comes to thyroxin. Now let's shift our focus to the pancreas. Hidden within this organ are clusters of cells known as the islets of Langerhans. These little islets have a significant task. They produce two vital hormones, insulin and glucagon. Insulin, like a key, opens the door to our body's cells, allowing glucose to enter and provide the energy we need. On the other hand, glucagon is like the backup generator. When our blood sugar levels drop, glucagon signals the liver to release stored glucose, ensuring our body's energy levels remain stable. But just like with thyroxin, balance is key with insulin and glucagon. Too little insulin can lead to high blood sugar levels, a condition known as diabetes. Conversely, too much insulin can cause hypoglycemia, where blood sugar levels drop dangerously low. 
So whether it's the thyroid gland controlling our metabolism or the islets of Langerhans managing our blood sugar levels, these elements of our endocrine system are tirelessly working to keep us balanced and healthy. As we can see, the thyroid gland and the islets of Langerhans play a significant role in regulating our metabolism and blood sugar levels. Next, we have the adrenal glands and the reproductive glands, which include the ovaries in females and testes in males. Let's start with the adrenal glands. These are pyramid-shaped organs perched atop each kidney like a tiny hat for your kidneys. Each adrenal gland comprises two parts, the adrenal cortex and the adrenal medulla. The adrenal cortex secretes a hormone called aldosterone, which plays a crucial role in maintaining the balance of salt and water in our bodies. This, in turn, helps regulate our blood pressure. The adrenal medulla, on the other hand, produces adrenaline, a hormone that prepares our body for a fight-or-flight response during stressful situations. When you feel your heart pounding before an important event, that's adrenaline at work. Now let's move on to the reproductive glands, the ovaries and the testes. These glands are responsible for producing hormones that regulate sexual development and reproduction. In females, the ovaries are located in the lower abdomen on both sides of the uterus. They produce two main hormones, estrogen and progesterone. Estrogen is responsible for the development of secondary sexual characteristics in females, such as the growth of breasts and the start of menstrual cycles. Progesterone, on the other hand, prepares the uterus for possible pregnancy after ovulation. In males, the testes are located in the scrotum, just below the penis. They produce testosterone, the hormone that triggers the development of secondary sexual characteristics in males, such as the growth of facial hair, the deepening of the voice, and the increase in muscle mass. Testosterone also plays a key role in sperm production. In essence, these hormones from the adrenal and reproductive glands are the conductors of the orchestra that is our body. They ensure that our bodies respond appropriately to stress, maintain a healthy balance of water and salt, and develop sexual characteristics necessary for reproduction. These glands not only help us respond to stress, but also play a vital role in reproduction and sexual characteristics. You might wonder how these hormones stay in balance. That's where the concept of negative feedback comes in. It's a bit like the thermostat in your house. When the temperature drops, the heat kicks on and warms the house. When it gets too warm, the heat turns off. This is a negative feedback loop and the body uses a similar mechanism to keep hormone levels in check. Let's look at the thyroid stimulating hormone or TSH and thyroxin. The hypothalamus and pituitary gland monitor the level of thyroxin in the blood. When thyroxin levels drop, the pituitary gland releases more TSH, which stimulates the thyroid to produce more thyroxin. Conversely, when thyroxin levels are high, the pituitary gland cuts back on TSH production, slowing thyroxin production. But what happens when this balance is disturbed? Well, an overactive thyroid or hyperthyroidism can cause symptoms like rapid heart rate, weight loss, and nervousness. On the other hand, an underactive thyroid or hypothyroidism might lead to fatigue, weight gain, and depression. Now let's look at insulin and glucagon, two hormones produced by the pancreas. After a meal, your blood sugar levels rise. In response, the pancreas releases insulin, which helps cells absorb the sugar. As blood sugar levels drop, insulin production decreases. But when blood sugar levels get too low, the pancreas releases glucagon, which signals the liver to release stored sugar back into the bloodstream. However, an imbalance in this system can lead to diabetes mellitus. If the body doesn't produce enough insulin or cells become resistant to insulin, blood sugar levels can remain high, leading to type 1 or type 2 diabetes. So you see, the body is a symphony of complex interactions, constantly striving for balance. And the conductor of this symphony is the negative feedback mechanism, ensuring that hormone levels are just right, not too high and not too low. It's a delicate dance, but one our bodies perform every day, every hour, every minute. The negative feedback mechanism ensures that our body maintains a state of equilibrium. As we've seen, the endocrine system is a complex network of glands secreting hormones that regulate various body functions. It's a marvel of nature, with each gland playing a significant role in maintaining the harmony of our body. From the hypothalamus, the master regulator, to the pituitary gland, dubbed the master gland, each has a unique function. The thyroid gland regulates metabolism, while the islets of Langerhans in the pancreas control blood sugar levels. 
The adrenal glands help us respond to stress and the reproductive glands while well, they ensure the continuation of our species. We also delved into the concept of negative feedback mechanisms, showing how our body maintains a delicate balance through hormones like TSH and thyroxin, insulin and glucagon. Imbalances in these can lead to conditions like thyroid disorders and diabetes. Understanding our endocrine system helps us appreciate the intricate balance that keeps our body functioning optimally. Until next time, keep exploring and keep learning.